this is, remember, more now about what Amadi Party and the government will do in Delhi. Two big resignations of two trusted lieutenants of Arvind Kejriwal. What will be the strategy? Will he get support from other opposition parties? Because BJP says this is basically how they wanted to look that they are anti-corruption, but they are totally corrupt. Well, the Amadi Party says this is pure witch hunt against us. In CBI custody till Saturday, Manish Sisodia is now being questioned over Liquor Gate and his role in the scam. The Delhi Deputy Chief Minister's CBI grilling began at 10.30 a.m. on Tuesday. The investigating agency had a long questionnaire ready. The grilling was recorded on camera. India today has access to exclusive details of Manish Sisodia's questioning by CBI. The Delhi Deputy Chief Minister was grilled over 100 crore kickbacks allegedly received as advance by Vijay Nair, AAP communications in charge who is also in custody. Nair allegedly took the kickbacks from the South Cartel to formulate a favorable excise policy. Sisodia was asked if the kickbacks were received through Hawala channels and was confronted with oral as well as documentary evidence. The charge against Mani Sisodia is that he as the excise minister and member of group of ministers made some changes in the excise policy with the aim to help some stakeholders to establish liquor sale monopoly in the capital between 2021-2022. Sisodia's troubles are far from over. He got no relief from the Supreme Court, with the top court asking Sisodia to approach the High Court against his arrest. Mr. Manish Sisodia has resigned. And so has Mr. Satinder Jain. And to our great surprise, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal has also accepted the resignation of Mr. Sh uh, Satinder Jain after nine months. Come on. If Mr. Manish Shodhya had any moral compass left, being the disciple of Anna Hazare movement, he ought to have resigned on the day this scandalous allegations came to light. केंद्र सरकार ने इन्हें झूठे, फर्जी, नकली मुकदमों में फंसाया है। उन्होंने अपने अपने मंत्री पद से इस्तीफा दिया है। और ये पूरे हिंदुस्तान के लिए बहुत दुर्भाग्य की बात है। Manish Sisodia has now resigned from the Delhi government. So has Satyendra Jain. It is Sisodia's resignation that will have a big impact on the functioning of the Kejriwal government in Delhi. Sisodia was single-handedly looking after as many as 18 key departments. Delhi's education model, several infrastructure projects under the PWD and urban development departments will be hit. Supreme Court today refused to interfere in Delhi Deputy CM Manish Sisodia's arrest, asking him to approach the Delhi High Court instead. The Supreme Court Division Bench of CJ D.Y. Chandra Juran Justice P.S. Narsimha said that the Supreme Court interfering in this matter is going to set a wrong precedent for future litigants. One thing is for certain that the Delhi liquor gate battle before the courts is far from over. With Munish Pandey in New Delhi, this is Nalini Sharma for India Today.